First you'll need to loosen the anti-tamper screw, located right here using an offset Phillips head screwdriver. Once you have that loose, next unscrew the push button actuator cap going counterclockwise. Once loose, pull that up and off. Next, remove the flex shaft and spring and set that aside. Inside of the handle base, you'll need to remove the 11 millimeter nut with your socket wrench. Once loose, pull up and remove on the entire handle base. Inside there is one honeycomb washer, one small lock washer, and one 11 millimeter nut. Now remove the bushing on top as well as the insulator tube that's around the joystick shaft. Next, remove the boot by stretching or pulling the bottom of the boot away and over the retaining flange. Before you put that down, flip the boot over and remove the bushing from underneath. You'll need this for the replacement boot. Now grab your new boot and add the bushing you just took off. Slide the boot onto the shaft. Then slide on the insulator tube and put the bushing back on top. Next, put the handle base back on. You'll need to reassemble it in the following order. First, the honeycomb washer. Second, the smaller lock washer. And lastly, the 11 millimeter nut, which you'll need to tighten with your socket wrench. Once it's tight, slide the flex shaft and spring back into the joystick shaft. Push it down a couple times to make sure it operates. Then with your hand, screw the push button cap until tight. Next, with your offset Phillips screwdriver, tighten up the anti-tamper screw. And lastly, pull the bottom of the boot over the retaining flange on all sides. And now your joystick is ready to go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, visit our website or contact us today.